GM, <laughs> ride engineer. Really? I think we're back on here, John. Oh, Hi, everybody. This says Steve at Television. This is live TV, folks. <laughs> <laughs> out here on our stage, hanging out with our car guy friends, and John Hodkins just being a great... I, I, I get to tell you, more than the friendship, I have a 57 Chevy, okay? I don't talk about the cars I have because I, I really want to be kind of Geneva, Switzerland, so I'm not identified with any one car. So I have cars. Some of you think I don't have them. I just don't talk about them. The one car I own up to is a 57 Chevy, okay? It's my first car when I was 16 years old. I don't have the exact same one. I have one that's a match to it. I did buy it a second time when I was a teenager and sold it. But anyway, I have the match to it. That's my car. I'm 16 years old, old all over again, including the experiences of taking it around corners. And uh, always feel like it's going to tip over when I'm on off, off ramps and on ramps. And so John and I talk, he says, I think I can help you with that. And I got to tell you, the car drives like a sports car. I can give personal testimony to this. I can just bury it, go around off ramps and whatever, there's curves down. I kind of look for them. I used to avoid them. Oh, well, I'll tell you <laughs> No, I, I aim for them and I just, I mean, go around and I feel like I'm driving a sports car. I cannot believe the difference it made to my 57 Chevy. <laughs> well, that's what we do, as you know, and Barry, thanks for having me back here. This is fantastic. And uh, no, we're here at SEMA and it's just absolutely incredible. And and for what you said, you did your, we did your 57. We have done to this Mopar back here and made yeah. it into a yeah, So you're handle. Mopar, you're not just Chevys. No, you're no, Mopar as well. You know, I know all your Chevy stuff. But. Exactly, we've been a Chevy for about 15 years making yeah. classic American muscle cars handle more like new cars. Yeah. And uh, yeah. better than new yeah. cars. Better than new and, cars. And uh, so we said, we so many people in Mopar said, hey, can't you do the same for us? And we said, absolutely. So we bought this Challenger and we bought it in Vermont because we couldn't find one nearby that was really in great shape. So we spent a year fine tuning on this one. We've done all the suspension package to it. Uh, and we've been auto crossing it and really have showing really? Mopar people that, really? that Mopar people that hey can't you don't have to have a car I mean of course they look great Some but it can drive look too. great but they were not the best handling cars no <laughs> no absolutely and a, and a muscle car a, a Prius handles better than a muscle car yeah so right. hey people right. want to drive something fun yeah. they want something cool in their garage like your 57 we'll bolt on our suspension products and you get that handling benefit well we're, we're, we're getting used to more horsepower though Mal. It's, it's going faster. I mean, that's we're all doing that with all of our cars. But braking and suspension, <laughs> it's kind of where we, we kind of lose it <laughs> too, all too often. Absolutely. You know, a lot of people, they say they buy an old muscle car, and let's say this car, and, for example, put on brand new wheels and tires and think, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I've got more power, and I've got a great new transmission sure. and everything else. But that's it right. just doesn't work because you have all that grip, yeah. and it translated through 30, 40, 50-year-old suspension. Well, redo all the suspension, for instance, with our geometry corrected products. Yeah. So it allows the tire to use the tire contact patch well, and therefore really good driving, really good communication to the wheel. So a car can look great, yeah. but fun yeah. to drive yeah. as well. Yeah. So explain what you did on the Challenger here. Okay, we took this Challenger, and imagine taking this car upside down, scraping all the suspension off, but you can also put it, you put it in a box, so you can save it if you'd ever want to put it back. I'm not okay. sure why yeah. you'd want to. Yeah, but a good uh, idea. Anyway, all bolt-on suspension so that it'll handle tires like this. So it'll, so it'll work well, so it'll handle it at a lowered ride height. So in this, we did torsion bars, leaf springs, our own special shocks, sway bar package, subframe connectors, A-arms, really the whole <laughs> gamut of suspension. So imagine all this, the suspension in this car is state of the art, made of, yeah, of, yeah. of exotic materials, race car quality products, but uh -huh. designed for uh -huh. the street. So awesome. it's really comfortable awesome. and fun. Awesome. Okay, new, you're a Camaro guy, you're a Chevy guy. You do all this stuff for the old Camaros. You gotta be doing something really good for the 2010 Camaro. Oh. You, gotta, you gotta be all over that. My gosh, SEMA is it's, it's amazing. It's all about the 2010 Camaro. Well, <laughs> We're in there as well. We've teamed up with legendary tuner Lingenfelter and a great friend with John Lingenfelter for a number of years. Uh -huh. wow. And uh, now Ken wow. Lingenfelter is running the company. They made a 750 horsepower, incredible Camaro. And we did the suspension on it. Coil springs, our sway bar package and, and chassis brace. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's the same package we're offering to anybody with a 2010 Camaro. So where GM has the car that it's, it's good but not sports good yeah we can yeah, take it yeah. and, and and take it for where they wouldn't go to yeah. an even higher level from a stock it standpoint it, it goes good in a straight line you start going around corners needs a little help you know, it goes that's okay. good for your business yeah, yeah. it's like perfect for you right exactly <laughs> they made the car perfect for Hodgkin's products yes they and did they it for you they made a, they made a great <laughs> car and we make it even better <laughs> that's awesome keep up the good work always great. good to be with you thank you very and much and I enjoy your stuff every day oh, well I <laughs> yeah. gotta tell you a testimonial amazing. like that is yeah, awesome yeah well I mean it sincerely awesome awesome